Okay, today I'm going to be talking about ping pong balls and why they are so flammable. I'm gonna show you what a ping pong ball looks like when you light it on fire, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like to light 100 ping pong balls on fire. So there's a common misconception that ping pong balls are flammable because they have a flammable gas inside of them, but that's actually not true. It's because they're made of a composite that contains nitrocellulose in it. Nitrocellulose is a low-grade explosive. In fact, they used to be more flammable than they are now. They used to be able to ignite just with enough friction, but they made them a little safer now, but they're still pretty flammable. Let's check it out. Nitrocellulose is made from nitrating cellulose. So what that means is that if you take a match to a ping pong ball, it goes up pretty quickly. <laughs> Whoa. See, and there's hardly anything left after the ping pong ball burns. It's pretty cool. If you want to try this on your own, they do light up very quickly, so be safe have a way to put it out if it catches anything else on fire. What's better than one ping pong ball? A hundred ping pong balls. Okay, here we go, lighting our hundred ping pong balls on fire. Okay, three, two, one. And there goes one. Two. We have some holes in the bottom to bring in the air. <laughs> there it goes. Whoa! <laughs> you can feel the heat. Whoa! <laughs> you can feel the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> there should be nothing really left. All gone. <laughs> That's what a hundred ping pong balls looks like burning. What's cool is that ping pong balls, because of their flammability like this, firefighters actually use them when battling wildfires. So they inject this chemical into the ping pong ball. It takes about 30 seconds to ignite. They drop all the ping pong balls where they want them. It makes this controlled fire that all burns together and burns the area of the wildfire that they want to be burned. Hey again everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Uh, you can comment in the comments section with any questions you have or any suggestions you have for future videos. I like reading through the comments and seeing what you guys come up with. And if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.